Hello everyone. My name is Sarah Typord and I'm the Corporate Equality Manager for the Council. I've been asked to provide a short outline of the Council's current work in relation to equality, diversity and inclusion as a quick introduction to this training session. Everyone in the Council is, has a role to play in supporting and advancing our equality, diversity and inclusion agenda and this session is part of building and developing your skills in this area. I've been in the Council since March 2021 and my role has two main parts. Firstly, to work across the Council to help improve the standard and consistency of our equality work. This involves things like reviewing our equality monitoring and assessment processes, how we consider equality implications when we commission services, the information we provide to decision makers to enable them to make fair decisions, and the work we have to do to create and support a workplace that's inclusive and better reflects the diverse people who live in the county. Secondly, the other part of my role is to support three directorates, communities, economy and transport, business services and governance services. I support and advise staff on completing equality impact assessments, doing equality monitoring or working on specific projects. There are other equality and inclusion teams in adult social care and health and children's services and I'll remind you of those in a moment. I wanted to pick out four main topics to outline our current work and approach. In 2020, the Council formed the Corporate Equality Group. Originally set up to look at how the pandemic is disproportionately impacting people in relation to their ethnicity and other aspects of their identity, and now with a role to look at the whole equality agenda from a corporate perspective. The group comprises senior managers from across all directorates to provide leadership, momentum and oversight to ensure achievement of our equality ambitions. It reports regularly to the corporate management team who are actively supporting this work. COVID-19 has shone a spotlight on the inequalities in the county and more widely in the whole country. And we're committed to doing all we can to respond to existing and emerging needs. We also know that our county's population is becoming more diverse. We're expecting some clear changes when the census 2021 data starts to come out in early summer. And that we need to remain responsive to people's varying needs and assets. One of my first tasks with the Corporate Equality Group was to develop a council-wide equality action plan. It's now on the internet in the equality and diversity section under helping you work. The plan is to focus our efforts on specific areas of work, build on the foundations that we already have and point the way to future priorities. The action plan is framed around four main themes covering all that we do as a council. The themes are leadership on equality and demonstrating commitment, using data and engagement effectively to make improvements, quality services taking into account diverse needs of local people, and finally, a diverse workforce with equality confidence, knowledge and skills. Work being done in this action plan covers a very wide range of activities, including reviewing and updating our equality impact assessment process, template and equality monitoring form, revising and improving our approach to recruitment and retention of staff, looking at our workplace adjustments processes for disabled staff, expanding our equality and development learning and development offer, and importantly, supporting staff to gain confidence and skills in talking about equality topics and applying that knowledge to our day to day work. Linked to this goal, we formed an equality, diversity and inclusion Yammer group last September. It's a place to creatively explore, genuinely reflect, ask constructive questions and learn from each other. Please do join the group and encourage your colleagues to join, to share good practice and topics of interest and to take part in the conversations. Also available are the staff networks focused on disability, ethnicity, social, sexual orientation and gender identity and carers. They're here to work against discrimination and inequality to represent staff views, support improvements for staff and service users, and to enable networking. Staff who share these characteristics can join. Activity is mostly online at the moment and the networks are just building up. The corporate management team have agreed that subject to service pressures, staff should be allowed to attend in work time. So please do have the discussion so all staff are encouraged to take part and supported to do so. We're keen that the networks become a positive and collaborative consultation voice. A small budget has been allocated to the networks to use to support their aims. 
Networks are discussing now how to use this money, so be part of the discussion and the decision. Find out more on Yammer and search for the groups. Finally, there are equality leads for all council services, as I mentioned. For children's services, it's Atia Gourle. Adult social care and health is Kaveri Sharma. And I support communities, economy and transport, business services and governance services. We can help with the quality impact assessments, monitoring and specific projects. Our details are on the internet, so please do feel free to get in touch. In conclusion, equality, diversity and inclusion are important in the East Sussex County Council. They are part of our core values and culture and essential to our business as usual. Everyone in the council has a role to play in achieving our equality aims and ensuring that the council is a fair and inclusive place for all of us as staff, for our service users and for all the county's residents. If you have any questions, please do feel free to get in touch with me at any time. But for now, I'll let you get on with the session and I look forward to working with you in future. <laughs>